Right team, day 17. So today I'm gonna to use this platform again because I wanna do a four point stretch that I like to incorporate in my training at least three times a week. It's mainly for the glutes and the abductors, but also it's gonna help release any tension through the back and down the side of the leg, which I know a lot of people suffer with. So it's a really good release for the back, relax the body. Because it's a four point stretch, the holding position, you move to another position from that position. So you're learning that flow, but also the relaxation of the flow. So let's have a bit of a shake out team to start with. A little bit of shake out, loosen out. So you don't need to be super warm for this one. We are relaxing, but you know how I like to energize every day. Shake the body out. Let's get those arms flicking. Let's get those arms, legs flicking. Let's get those big arms round. Shake it up, let's get this day going team. If you're doing this in the morning, you're gonna have a fantastic day, you're gonna feel relaxed. If you're doing the end of the day, even better, because you can get rid of all that tension you maybe got. Let's get those butts. It's good to do maybe before a workout, so you can, I like to think you gotta straighten up before you strengthen up. Arms across, you can do it at the end of a workout to relax the body back to its normal state. Slot this in wherever you want. Okay, big knees round, big circles. Big knees round. And the one thing I wanna put in there guys is, don't stretch through a pain barrier. That's not how it should be. You're gonna stretch, you'll feel the sensation, and you're stimulating the muscles, but you're not putting pain upon them. Put the heels in. So I know, I know, obviously, if you watch Van Damme films and they're doing the stretching and they're trying to pull his legs apart and he's tensing through it, kick your butts. The problem I have with stretching that way is you're tensing so much, how are you actually gonna increase any flexibility? You wanna be able to relax in your stretch position Breathe, relax, breathe and relax. Okay, right, so let's get in our position. So we're gonna, first of all, guys, we're gonna line our backs. So you can already see we're relaxing, right? Line our backs. I'm gonna put from here, my foot is gonna relax on my quad, the top of my leg, just so it attaches onto my knee. From, with this hand, the outside hand, I'm gonna pull the knee in, I'm gonna secure it with the hand. So I'm just securing the knee. This foot is trying to get close to my face. I want to push this knee and reject it away. So already I'm creating a triangle, so this is going to stretch my glutes. But then what I'm going to do is guys, I'm going to relax my back, the first point, first point of stretch, I'm going to relax my back down, and I'm just going to lie here. So I'm pulling this knee in, bringing this foot closer, pushing this knee away, rejecting it, and keeping the spine flat on the floor. Hips down the floor and just relax their head down. Now guys, we're going to hold here 10, 15 seconds. Just nice, relax. So hopefully in position. So the energy is coming from a different, different angle today, guys. Rather than trying to force it, we can relax it and let our energy slow down so we've got control of the body again. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, guys, with this hand, you will reject the knee. You're gonna use it, put it through the gap. So you've got both hands securing the same knee. Now you're gonna be able to pull this leg closer. Now I like to think of this, guys. Imagine you're trying to pull your shin to your mouth, but without using your head. So you're going to pull your shin to your mouth by pulling it and hold it there. And again, no pain. It should be painful. It should feel in the butts, but no pain. Hold it there. Secure it. This is point number two. That's it. Hold it there. Ten more seconds. So we want to hit every angle in that loop. Now the next point from here, guys, give you five more seconds. The next point, you want to keep it pulled in first. So don't relax. Don't let go. Keep it pulled in. I'm going to take this hand off. Pull this foot down towards the floor. So move across. Go on towards the edge. Pull the foot down towards the floor. As it's on the floor, I'm going to relax my back flat with the closest hand. I'm going to bring it down. Now, if you can, get the pit of your elbow onto the knee and pull it right in. So I'm pulling this knee right to the floor. And then I'm going to stretch the other arm out, trying to keep my upper back down on the floor. The foot is high, as it can be. The knee still secure in the foot. I'm pulling the other knee right in. Now you're going to feel maybe a deeper stretch of your glute. And from the four points, you will have a favorite position you like to be in. Don't avoid the other three points, so hold it there. Ten more seconds, just relax. Now, when, if you've done my breathing one, guys, you'll know we always try and breathe deep into the stomach. Just give that a go. And relax the chest down. And one more breath in. And relax there. Okay, ready? So, point four. I'm going to shoot this leg out straight and shoot the other leg out straight. So they're going pion this way. Now I call this a compass stretch. We've got north, east, south, west. So this leg is south. This arm goes up to be north. Stretch it right up. Stretch this one out. So I'm stretching right to the body. Now, if you can, lock this knee out. So push it out. You're going to feel the stretch going right down the side. Stretching right down the side of the leg as it attaches into the calf, the back of the leg. 
and because you're pulling across, you're stretching through the mid range of back and increasing that thoracic extension. I always talk about for great posture, stretch your arms up and then pull through. You've got that compass going on. Here we go. Hold it there. Deep breaths into the stomach, guys. Hold those arms there. Let that body relax so right through. And you might feel it now. If you've got tight piriformis or if you have any sciatica problems, you're going to feel this here. You're going to feel tight. If you can strain it, strain it. If you need to bend it, bend it. Remember, it shouldn't be pain. It should be a sensation. You feel it, but no pain. Three, two, one, and relax. Pull it back to center. Okay, so let's do the other side, guys. So recap. First motion, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my foot on top of the quad. Nice and relaxed. I'm going to use this hand, pull the knee in and secure it so the foot is now close to my head. I'm reject the other knee, so I'm pushing it away as comfortably as I can. I rest my head down and I'm just going to lie here. So this one is securing here, this one's securing here, so I'm creating a little V motion. And my back is flat, pull it in and hold it there. Pull the knee. So the foot's coming as close to the head as it can that this knee put following it, hold it there. 10 more seconds, deep, nice, long breaths. Try and feel your spine on the floor. Feel how that spine's attached to the floor. That's it, relax it there, five. Deep breaths in, four, three, two, one. Okay, take the hand off the knee, the outside knee, pull it in, so both hands securing. Now you're gonna pull the hip, so you find the hip will pull off the floor. You're not particularly trying to put your head forwards, you're trying to secure by putting your foot into your head. And hold it there. So you're just hitting that slightly different angle. Guys, you're moving more for ways, you've got to stretch in more for ways. There are, obviously, there's, there's certain stretches that are a major compound stretch, which is fantastic. But you don't want to just keep doing the same stretches, guys. There's lots of variety. Think how much you move. Those are the areas you want to be stretching through. The same amount. If you treat your flexibility program like your strength program, you need great results. It doesn't have to be painful though, guys. Nice and steady. Three, two, one. Okay, take this foot down towards the floor. Stretch the other arm out now. Ready? I'm going to pull this knee down, secure it in. Stretch my chest out, holding that position. Remember, I'm trying to pull this knee down towards this armpit, stretching through this glute. This knee securing the foot so it doesn't drop down. I want to keep it high. Nice deep breaths into the low rib cage here. Lots to think about, eh? Lots to think about. Well, your body's got lots of functions to it. We want to build those pathways up, and those pathways come from the mind, which is why I want to keep making the brain think about all these different things at the same time. Remember, I always say, put the mind in the muscle. But there's lots of muscles in there, eh? Lots of muscles. So hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to straighten the leg out. So the boot down. Straighten the legs out. So we're doing that compass strength. We've got south, pointing to south. East or west, depending which way you're doing it. Other arm goes out, and we stretch the other arm. Nice up to north, so stretching out. Like you're just completely, like I like to think of stretching, guys, as you're, you're giving yourself into the stretch. Give yourself into it. Okay, so you're like, you're just releasing the body and just giving into the stretch. Hold it there. Nice and relaxed. Deep long breaths into the stomach. And slowly out. Hold it there, nice and relaxed. Five more seconds. And then back. Okay, from here guys, we want to get some motion going again. So we're going to cycle our legs around, big circles. Now you know that I do this in my warm guys, so I'm getting the energy going back through the body, but without any pressure on it. We're going to cycle back with big circles. And we're going to knees together, control side to side. So just get that motion going again. But no aggression, nice and steady. Waking the body back up. We're going to rock them and down. They now like to do this, guys, because it sweets on the core and also massages the muscle in the lower back. Remember, the whole point, you want loose glutes so you can have a freedom flowing back. And then from here, we're going to go feet flat on the floor. I'm going to peel my pelvis off the floor, squeeze up, and then roll it down again. Be mindful of pushing through the heels 
activating the hamstrings with the glutes. They like to talk together. We want them working together, stretching up, squeeze, squeeze, hips right up, and then roll back down again, controlling, feel the spine, peel off the floor, and replace back down again. Let's do one more, slow it down, and back in. Roll, roll, roll up, and back in. Okay, shake the body loose, shake the body out. Stretch it up, stretch it up, stretch it up. And then sit yourselves up. So team, hopefully, as we go through each day, you're gonna feel a different energy in you. And hopefully the intelligence is starting to build, not just with your knowledge of, of exercise, but your knowledge of your own body, which is what I really wanna drive home. The whole point of this is to, you feel comfortable in your own body, you understand it. So it's self-knowledge, you understand, you're looking back on yourself, and understanding how you feel, how you work, and build that absolute body confidence. Let's put the intelligence back into fitness. Have a great day.